This video is supported by Audible. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking with William, where today we're going to be making some chicken tikka masala. Let's get started. Alright, chicken tikka masala starts with our chicken marinade. So we're going to do about a cup and a half of plain yogurt. This doesn't have to be sweet at all. To that we are going to flavor it with two cloves of chopped garlic, a half inch of chopped ginger, a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of garam masala, and then we are going to season with kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper to taste. Go ahead and mix that up just to make sure everything's combined and then you can go ahead and add your chicken. I like to use chicken thighs for this. You can use breast, but chicken thighs are gonna be a lot better. They have more flavor and they stay a lot more tender. Just make sure you trim your chicken thighs a bit before you put them in and then you can just kind of use your hands to completely cover each chicken thigh in the marinade. This will make sure everything is fully flavored. And now you can go ahead and cover it with some plastic wrap or a damp towel and leave it in the fridge for two to three hours before you cook it. When you're ready to cook it, just go ahead and spread it out on a baking sheet lined with foil and then season with kosher salt and black pepper. And then go ahead and pop that under the broiler, flipping every two to three minutes until it's nice and charred. You'll see that it's gonna burn a bit on the foil, but that's okay, because you're not gonna be eating that part. Now we can work on the sauce. Start with a drizzle of olive oil in a large Dutch oven, and then add one half of a chopped onion. Go ahead and season that with kosher salt to help pull some of the water out, and then start frying it in that oil. Now you could use all ground spices, but I'm gonna use nutmeg, cloves, coriander and fennel seeds as whole spices which I will toast and then grind up myself. Once the onions have gotten nice and brown we're going to add in a few cloves of chopped garlic, a little bit of chopped ginger, and then we're just going to let that fry in the oil for a little bit until it gets nice and fragrant, about 30 seconds to a minute. Now we are going to add our ground spices. This is what we ground, some garam masala, turmeric, a little bit of cumin, and some chili powder. Go ahead and fry those spices just to get them nice and toasty in the oil before adding a large squeeze, about two tablespoons, of tomato paste. Fry that until it's just about to burn and then stop it from burning using a full can of whole peeled tomatoes. Give that all a stir to get the flavors nice and combined. And then we're just gonna kinda let this cook down, let those tomatoes break down, let everything get all nice and combined. So cover it and let it cook for two to three hours. After your two to three hours are up, you can go ahead and open it up and give it a stir to recombine everything. And this is a really good time to taste and season with some kosher salt and fresh black pepper, just a little bit of extra. Then we're going to add our chicken back in. I went ahead and sliced my chicken into bite-sized pieces, but you can add the full thighs or breast back into the dish, whatever you choose. And now our final step is to add one full cup of heavy cream. This helps to lighten up the flavors as well as add a little bit of richness to the dish. It's really nice. And now you have chicken tikka masala. I like to eat this with naan, but they didn't have any at the store, so we're gonna eat it with some rice today. It's also a great substitute. Go ahead and just add your rice to a bowl, add your tikka masala, and then I like to add some sort of garnish. Garnishes can include any sort of herb, coriander leaves, and cilantro work great. I'm actually using celery leaves here, but it just adds a little pop of color. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you continue watching. Please let me know in the comments below what I should cook next time, and if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible is a great service where you can listen to audiobooks online, and if you use my link in the description, you can get a free 30-day trial that comes with one free book, and you can cancel any time. As you guys can see here, they have all sorts of choices as far as books go. I'm currently listening to Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. It's a great sci-fi thriller novel, and I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a book to read or listen to. So make sure you use my link in the description for your free 30-day trial to Audible.